For this example, we need to figure out which function has a higher y-intercept. So we're going to look at the intercept for the graph, since that's the easiest one to find. Here's my y-axis. It crosses at negative 2. So the y-intercept for f of x is negative 2. Let's find the y-intercept here. So in order to do this, we need to expand this out and put it into standard form. So we're going to expand this out and do x minus 1 times x minus 1. Now we're going to distribute x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative 1x. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. And negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Combine your middle two like terms, which is negative 2x plus 1, x squared. But then we got to remember that we have the negative outside. So now we're going to distribute that through. Negative times x squared is negative x squared. Negative times a negative 2 is a positive 2x. And a negative times a 1 is a negative 1. Okay, now I can bring down the plus 4. Combine our last two terms, which are alike. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. So it's positive 3. So negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. And we see that that is our y-intercept for g of x. So which one is higher? Okay, g of x is higher than f of x. Okay, or g of x is greater than, than f of x.